All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 290th edition of Music Village. Now, we had to put some emphasis on this intro, folks, because we've hit 290 episodes to start off this 18th December, this ice-cold frozen month that is going to be filled with more snow than Frosty's Playhouse. And if you're wondering, uh, yeah, Frosty's Playhouse was a TV show they had on TV for a while, but canceled immediately due to the fact that Frosty the Snowman melted. It was tragic. It was tragic. <laughs> but speaking of Frost, ladies and gentlemen, and seeing the fact that we are on the fast track to the end of this decade and this year, we might as well go into another exciting edition, ice cold edition, of the Music Village Update. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're pretty much at the finish line. We are on the 12th month of this year, end of the decade mode, and we go into it with AC December, AKA the month of frost. Maestro, that was your cue to do the wind sound effect. Where is it? There it is. It tells you how cold it is out there. But aside of crazy sound effects and whatever, folks, yeah, this month is going to be huge for a multitude of reasons, and not only because today is a milestone episode packed to the gill with games and whatnots, but next week, we will be doing a review of the pay-per-view of tables, ladders, and chairs. We don't get a moment of rest, folks. After celebrating this week's milestone, next week, we're gonna be doing TLC. That following week, we will also be doing a review of that said pay-per-view. And along the way from there, with only 18 shows left before this year wraps up, we also have a work in progress where we will talk about some of the nominees for this year's Indie Awards that will take place next year as of February. Yeah, we gotta get an early jump on it so you guys can go out there and vote for your favorite contestant or person who will be involved in Indie Awards. And we will try to do some sort of voting system on YouTube or Twitter or Facebook Somehow, we're going to get you guys involved for it this year so you can vote for these people so you can feel like you're a part of this big award show that will require us to wear a tuxedo for. And aside from that, folks, that next following week, we will be celebrating the one year anniversary of a work in progress. Now, we're going to be celebrating it a week earlier than what we hoped because, well... Let's just say because of a couple of problems with the Tuesday night special being on New Year's Eve, we can't technically do two shows in under one night. So it would be a little bit difficult, just saying. And alongside with that, and speaking of anniversaries, folks, we celebrate the five-year anniversary in less than two weeks from this upcoming Monday for Under the Radar. And to properly celebrate that anniversary, folks, we will bring back Retromania for one of the biggest Wrestlemanias we've watched in a long time for Wrestlemania 25 that took place in Dallas, deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it did take place in Texas. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But besides all of that, folks, we also celebrate another huge milestone with the Tuesday night special in less than two weeks from Tuesday, which will be for the 275th edition of the Tuesday night special. And that next following week, besides us trying to do a Christmas special on that 275th episode, which will include another cool edition of the DJ Smokey's True Christmas Video Game Stories. And I'm pretty sure the title is a little bit different than that, but we'll work on it. We'll work on it. And oh, Maestro said that Dan the Weatherman Stu is going to try to play Santa Claus that night. Are you serious? No! 
no, I am not going to have disco claws on the show for that year. Tell them to cut it out. Before we even go any further, cut it out. Tell them to knock that off. I'm not going to have him disco dancing with eggnog in his hand and about to fall over like he did last year on the little tiny Christmas tree I had. I had to get that thing fixed. That thing cost a lot of money. But back to our regularly scheduled programming of trying to explain this AC December to you without getting angry at Dan the Weatherman Stu. To wrap up this year, we also have a very special, hopefully before midnight edition of the Tuesday Night Special, which we might end up calling something else along the lines of the Tuesday Night New Year's Eve Special. That's if it can fit in the box. We're not too entirely sure if it can, so if it can't, we'll kibosh it. And alongside with that, along the way to this year-ending mode that we're on, folks, every single video game story that we tell for this year is going to involve some form of theme of snow or fighting before this year ends. Just to let you know. We're going to try our best this year with it, and if it doesn't work, we have some backup video game stories in one of our notebooks that will fit it just right. And oh, Maestro wanted me to inform you that we have only less than two episodes of the Indie Radio Arcade before we wrap up this year, and it will involve Christmas shopping video games, and even some Christmas-like movies that gets me into that Christmas mood, even though it was Christmas since October thanks to advertisement, Christmas tree lights, and what have you that's been happening for the past couple of weeks. But besides my little trying to avoid the Christmas spirit as much as possible, folks, with everybody in the nim of what we got planned for this jam-packed, year-ending, decade-ending sort of month, I think it's time for us to strap ourselves in, get comfy with a cup of cocoa, and prepare to bring out this year with plenty of indie games, music, laughs, and definitely celebrations that'll last a lifetime. And no, Maestro, I didn't get that last line from a Hallmark or one of those K Jeweler commercials. It's just the fact that this is most likely going to be a once in a lifetime thing we do, especially for the Tuesday night special with the fact that it's going to wrap up on New Year's. Yeah, we're bringing the year out, folks. And with that all said, folks, I think it's time for us to head back into the music. And when we return, we'll be back with more Music Village than you can shake a stick at right after this. So don't go anywhere just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 